Oh, happy new year. I just want to kick off with what's happening in the Dow. Obviously, a lot of interest in it uh, today. So we're looking at the Dow 30-minute bars. As you know, in terms of trade-off between the cost per trade, uh, the time your capital is locked up, the 30-minute and the one hours tend to be the best, as I've explained in many of my webinars. Uh, what we've got here, what we see here is on the end of last month we had the short signal well people obviously clearing out the books i assume uh we got a couple of trades which went nowhere those two but we had good profits from this short and then on new year's eve we got the long now how does that happen why did that happen the reason for it those who follow the webinars will know is twofold first of all we have pattern recognition we look for uh periods of patterns using microsoft Azure's artificial intelligence software so we have the patterns there uh, we also look at multiple indicators to see how they're lined up across multiple time frames and then some price confirmation to make sure we're not the only one so there's a lot of things we're looking at in order to put the odds in our favor we're looking for a slight edge a slight more than 50 50 edge to get wins like this or profits like that now what's critical for you is this the dow and the us markets have clearly started strong this year the reason we think they're starting uh, very strong is they really see uh, this year as uh, looser monetary policy, looser fiscal policy to the extent they can get some of those huge, massive congressional f fiscal budgets uh, uh, off the off the ground. Uh, but it's going to be loose policy on both and continuous rides, despite. Yes, I hear you. Despite China and trade wars and Brexit and everything else, market doesn't seem to be concerned. We don't care why. We care only what is happening. This is what's happening. Again, those who followed uh, my uh, talks and webinars will know this from the software you use. And if you want to use our software, you can. Uh, it's on pitspredator.com. One thing that I want to get clear to you is what we do. Essentially, as well as having the entries, which are our algorithms give us, uh, we have 10 different algorithms in the hedge fund, and this is one of the oldest uh, versions and rules that we've been using. The stop loss you can see there in yellow, also highlighted here, is based on the volatility of the markets. That's this market noise and volatility there to make sure we're not stopped out by noise. If the market's more volatile, the stop loss is further away. If the stop loss is further away, our position size is reduced, so we're never risking more just because the market's more volatile. Very important point, of course. We never add to our losing trades, and we do add to our winning trades. Where do we add to them? See that red dotted line there? It is a mirror reflection of the stop loss there. Now, is all this very time consuming? Not at all, because not only have you got the signal, which if you're watching the screen, it's easy to monitor 12 different products, over a 15 minute time frame and find one trade a day which is what we recommend most people do on their business plan one good quality trade you could do more if you want to try and earn more but time is money uh and you can at the same time tell your broker you want to enter there all the numbers are there and what the stop loss is but also you'd be able to tell them at that time where you want to add to your position so if the price goes up to there and you've got some profits you risk those profits in order to and it has its own stop loss here in order to make a greater return Okay, so there's where you're adding to the position and it has its own stop loss there. We write all that down for you, so don't worry. The reason for that is it means we can start small in case the trade is losing, but knowing that if the trend continues, we'll make even more money and we can increase our position size. So that allows us to skew our odds in one side, one favor over the other. So just to explain that, like I said, with the Dow, we expect it to be a bullish year. But of course, even with bullishness, and the reason we trade is this, just look at this since the 27th of December to the 2nd of January, only five days or even just three trading days, uh, the market went nowhere. But for the trader, there was the profit here, there's the profit up here. And that's why we trade over investing. That's why we don't say, is it going to be an up year? Well, there will, it may well be an up year, but in the interim, we'll be hedging and making bets on the south side and on the upward north side as well in between. So like I say, if you want to know more, learn more about trading, go to trading-champions.com and also pipspredator.com. Lots of resources and materials there. So you can do well what we're doing here using the same technology that we use we're hoping to ipo this company uh it's our sort of google of trading it scans the markets the way google scans the internet and looks for information which is uh pattern recognition multiple indicators multiple time frames price confirmation and all of those things in order to generate a return so return from a spun out fintech from our hedge fund keep an eye out for that